Hey everybody, Nick here. Hope you're enjoying your weekend and doing the best that you can considering the situation with the quarantine. I want to do something a little bit different, so I'm going to hang, I'm hang out here on a Friday night and I was trying to think of some way where I can like hang out with you guys for... I might do the live thing at some point, but uh, like if you were here with me and we're sitting jamming, having a few beers and doing things, some stuff that I would actually do or like when, and I do with my friends too. So I'm going to do this. I might do some of these more in the future. This is going to be like my Friday night hangout kind of thing. And it's going to be me taking, grabbing a beer or something like that and going through previous set lists of places that I've, uh, shows that I've had or previous song lists from bands that I've had. I'm going to run through them. I'm going to pick one randomly and I'll tell you a little bit about either that band or the show that I played it at and just run through some of the songs with you. Just give you like quick pointers on the chords if I can remember them because some of these I haven't played in a while and I thought it might be kind of fun. So let's go take a look at these lists. Now I have probably out of these probably a few thousand songs within the last 10 years or so. These are just some of the set lists that I've actually saved or band lists for songs that we've played like new band, here's all the songs that we know together and then we're kind of whittling them down. And also because you know I love Detroit stuff, I'm going to be drinking a local beer tonight, one of my favorite beers of anything. It's a Bell's Two Hearted Ale. Pretty good stuff. If you like IPAs, this is my gold standard of IPAs. That's what I judge everything else by. It's made over here in Michigan. Uh, Comstock, Michigan, which is three, four hours west of Detroit over here, kind of on the lower west side of the state. Uh, they make really good beer. This is my favorite of theirs. They have another one called Hop Slam. It's really, really hoppy. Everybody likes that. I don't like it too much. I like, but Too Hard is easily my favorite. So anyways, let's get back to the set list. I have all these set lists. I'm going to randomly pick one. I can shuffle these somehow. Or... So this one is going to be, oh, I'll show it on the screen. This is from a Ruckus Unplugged, Detroit Unplugged show that I did. I don't remember much of this. Okay, this was in October uh, 17th. Now, Ruckus is a two-person band that I used to be in, an acoustic band. Me and Six. Uh, Six plays guitar, but when I was in the band, he was basically just kind of singing, and I would play the guitar. And we would do acoustic songs, but not your typical, not always your typical songs that are acoustic. We would do Tool and a lot of other things like that. We also had a radio show called The Ruckus Show in Detroit. So this one over here, I'm just going to go through them. Watch, okay, that one I haven't played in a while. Old Apartment, Pretend. I took California Lost Boys. Lost Boys is a pretty good song. That was from the Sons of Anarchy soundtrack. I had heard it before. It was from one of the funeral scenes, big funeral scenes. I can't think of the guy's name, but it was a song that was played then. Really good song. We did that. Landslide of Receipt. Okay, I'm just going to start running through some of these and giving you quick pointers on the chords for them. I'll use my Martin D28 since that's the actual guitar that I used for Ruckus and the ones that I played at the show. So, why Georgia? Why? I haven't played that one in a while. I know it's in G. It's like. Like that's what it was in G. That's it. Kind of like a G. Then a D with an open string. Actually, I think I used to play a finger toe. So basically, I'm not going to go through the whole song, but basically it's kind of in a G major and it goes up to a D for that first part. The G goes up, plays off the, uh, just a couple notes at a time, you're not strumming the whole song. But the G goes from a G, hammer on that A and off. And then for the D, it just goes up to the D note with the F sharp and the open G string. If you're going to strum it, you can go just from a G to a D, I guess. That quick turnaround is just an E minor. D with an F sharp bass, G, and a C. C at nine. Now, Old Department's used with a capo. I can't find a capo? What the hell? Old Department, I typically capo that one on um, three, and then playing the G kind of G shapes. So it's like a G to a D shape, and then to that C at nine shape.
chorus part goes from an E minor to like, I always play like a C major seventh, which is just a C, taking that B off. Pretend, I don't really remember that one. Hotel California is a long one. It's a, uh, I can go through that one. But I'll give you the basic, basic chords. It's a E minor, F sharp, A, to an E, to a G, to a D, to an E minor, to F seventh. Chorus is uh, G. Like I said, you can play that a lot of different ways, and I can go in through details of all the different guitar parts in the solo, which is actually a very cool solo. Not super hard to play, you just gotta remember what the chord changes are and to play over them the right way. Next one. Lost Boy. That one's in C. That is C. That one's basically in C, and I remember, I think I would play like the lower G on that, so it was like, yeah, give it a little more depth. This is a regular C. That added bass. part goes from an F, A e minor I believe, F again, back to C, F, C, majority of the song. Le yesterday I went through it before. Landslide, I just went through recently, the picking part of Landslide, it's a cool song. River of Deceit by, who was that by? I can't think of the names. Lane Staley, Temple, Temple of the Dog? No, Mad Season. Mad, Temple of the Dog's the other band. Um, River of Deceit is kind of like an E minor and it goes up here. It's like a, it starts off with the two nor chords. Oops, take two. Take three, I haven't played it in a while. going back from an F to a G, but it's this F over here, this open one, and it just keeps pulling off this uh, A over here. Select those two chords. Now for that other part, there's different stops you can do, like different double stops, the way I played it is kind of like... I keep this one string open. I just changed the fretting from the third fret on the top two strings. Fifth fret, eight, and then eight and seven. So.
Good song. I haven't played it in a while. I gotta actually play that more. It's a fun song. Next one, Can't Trust Myself. Don't remember right now. Faithfully by Journey. Yeah, that's pretty basic. Uh, we did an acoustic version of it. I'm not sure how I played it back then on it, but it's basically pretty much goes C. Boom. Hold on. That's what it is. It goes from a C to A minor to F back to C. It's kind of like a basic chord progression, C. to a C. C. F. Minor. C. And this is a weird thing. G. E minor. Back to a G. D minor up to a F. No sunshine when she's gone. I believe that's uh, E minor. E minor. Roughly how it goes. I haven't played it in a while. Sweetly, don't remember it. Flake is uh, pretty much in E major, but it starts off on a C sharp minor. C sharp minor, E, A, real percussive strumming. Turn around goes. A. B. Chorus is E. B. C sharp minor. C sharp. A. B. 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 The, the double time kind of thing at the end is pretty much just an E major, but he's like soloing kind of like in a E minor. <laughs> She talks to angels. Okay, that's uh, haven't played that one in a while. I do different harmonics, so this actually the original's in a different tuning. It's like an open key tuning, but I play it in a regular tuning. So I'm just going uh, two top two strings on the 12th fret and the 7th fret. Say a, a B, but when I do those top strings open. I do that a lot, and there's a lot of songs to do that. When I play acoustic, I tend to play a lot of open strings. It just sounds better to me. A. A. Little 
turnaround just goes up from A to E, A to E, then a B. So it's practice four shows. Next one is Little Wing. That's a probably do something Little Wing. Uh, Little Wing is pretty much an E minor. It's uh, how did I play it on here? I think I just did the regular version. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't like. We did like the chords version. Like, other stuff but basically it's a G F C to a D and nails are getting in the way um, but I haven't played this one like in forever let me play it again chords for that if you've never played Little Wing before. Basic chords, but it's just put together really nicely. Just a great song to jam over in any kind of style, whether it's the chorus version or uh, Hendrix's original version or whatever kind of version you want to play, but really, really cool song. Next is War Pigs. War Pigs. Uh, I'm, trying to think of, I'm trying to think how it goes. Okay. to riffs. Then uh, goes up. Anyways, once you get to that point, it's uh, then G all the way down chromatically. That's like a little, it's kind of like the G or the, however you want to play that, depending on whether you're on an acoustic or an electric. It's kind of like a seven, it's like a e, kind of like E, B, and D. E, B. And it goes back and 
forth of that all the way down. pretty much just going from an E minor, from an E to a D. I'm just doing like the top part because I'm the only one playing the guitar and somebody else is singing. So I would just kind of do the, climb, keep that open E. And then I'm just doing these because there's the D right there, but I got that top note. by the Goo Goo Dolls. Okay, um, E minor. Pretty cool song, actually. Good guitar song to play. It's a uh, basic thing. It's like, I remember it. So it's a nice little riff on top. It's a, that little riff goes from an E minor. D, C. Then a G walks down to the E. Part is G. Sorry, E minor. And that other part goes from a. It's, I slide it up to a. I slide it up to a D, so you can hear it. Forty-six and two. What's going on is um, I think we played it in D. It's pretty much like a D, a D major seventh, I think. Yeah, to a B minor seventh, to an E minor seventh, to an A seventh. I'm trying to think of the rhythm. Down of this set list for the Ruckus show. Um, zombie Out Trying Radioactive. I didn't even go through those, but those are extra songs to do at some other point. Oh, also, by the way, this is at a local bar, this show that we happen to play at. I believe the Detroit Unplugged thing. It was different, various different Detroit bands at for Cave Radio we played, because I think we had a radio station at the time. But it was uh, one of the one of the local clubs right next to, or not far from, Cave Radio in Detroit. And there were other uh, acoustic bands. Well, it was actually just regular bands, but we just happened to be an acoustic set that played during them, and those are some of the songs we played. Actually, those are all the songs we played for there. And I think we played the ones at the bottom and probably a few other requests here and there. And it was a good show. It was a lot of fun, a lot of people. It was always a good, uh, always a good crowd at those things and good to hang out with the other musicians and, and do the, the thing for Cave Radio and the Detroit Radio uh, area and all that. So that was cool. And I remember, I don't think I, there was one show that I had where I had like electrical problems. I don't think that one was it. But this one, yeah, I think everything went well for the most part for this one. Do you have any, like, no war stories I can tell you for my guitar? Everything played well. So let me know what you thought about that, uh, you know, this, like, 
hangout thing with a beer and going through a set list. Uh, it was a lot of fun for me doing this, actually. I, I really haven't looked at these uh, and played most of these songs in, in years. So it was fun to, to go through these and have a beer and hang out and think about those and think about the shows that I did with them. So let me know what you thought. I can do these more in the future. And uh, you guys take care, and I will see you soon. Next time.